Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday, May 1st guys. It is May 1st and it is a beautiful sunny Saturday morning here in Memphis. And I'm up here on the rooftop getting a little bit of sun. It's been a minute since I've actually spent time out here. They had closed our rooftop down um, due to the pandemic and big gatherings and you know, I guess just being safe. They had precautions in place, so it's fully open now, so we're able to utilize it, which I was getting a little upset because I'm like, you know, that's what I pay all this rent money for is to be able to have these amenities, but I do understand that it was necessary due to what was going on, but just being able to get out in the sun uh, at home without actually going out in public or, you know, on the streets because I can't open my windows. I don't have a patio, and then because being in this high rise, they, uh, um, this particular building, they don't allow us to um, have patios or be able to open the windows. So sometimes I just want to be able to be at home and get a little bit of sun, be able to sit out like on a porch. So this gives me that opportunity, but I just wanted to drop in today and leave a, a little video. Um, been kind of slow moving on the videos, which, um, has a little to do with this video today um health is wealth guys uh whether it's physical health mental or emotional health and um i've been going through some things um mentally and emotionally and so sometimes i have to slow down when i am struggling or when i won't say struggling i won't consider myself to be struggling but i think that i just needed a little bit of a break uh, just to balance out some things. And I think I mentioned that in a previous video that uh, I had been really busy and uh, I needed to slow down a little bit. It was beginning to affect me. And so that's what I've been doing. I'm good, guys, so don't worry. It's nothing like, you know, anything's going on to the extent that I'm in any danger or, you know, suffering in any way. But I just felt myself being overwhelmed. And uh, when I get overwhelmed, I sometimes uh, isolate and seclude myself so that I can uh, be able to reinvigorate, reinvigorate myself, uh, rejuvenate myself, and so that's what I'm doing. So that's why I'm using using this video today to talk about health, uh, being wealth, because it is so important. I think your health is the most important thing that you could own. Because think about it, guys. It doesn't matter how uh, materialistic, you know, materialistic things that you own or money, you know, whatever it may be. If your health is not great, um, none of that is important. None of it, because you can't enjoy it. You won't be able to um, be able to bask in the glory of what it means if your health is bad. Um, so it's important that we uh, always pay attention to that. So I'm making sure that I do that more often. And uh, so I wanted to drop in today and just remind you of that. Uh, here in Tennessee, um, by the end of May, I think all of the mandates will be dropped as far as the pandemic is concerned. Um, it seems to be already because, you know, people are back full blast, you know, doing everything, but they're dropping the mask mandate at the end of May. So I think, I'm not sure, I think you still have to wear it on the inside, but I know our governor is trying to get them dropped completely um, for people who are fully vaccinated. So um, yeah, and they, that means it's going to be even more people out than what it is right now. Because, guys, when I tell you they out here, it's like uh, people have been locked up and they feel like they can get out and just, you know, <laughs> just, you know, just have a good time. And they, they want to make sure that they do that. To me, it seems like they're fearing that it may happen again. So they want to make sure they do everything they can do. So, um, yeah, it's kind of strange. It feels kind of weird because we have been locked down. It's been so slow. So to me, it seems extra busy for me out here on the mall, um, downstairs, outside, downtown. It seems to be, to me, like triple the amount of people that it normally would have been. But that also could be because I've been sitting in for a year and it didn't seem to be that many people out here, but it does now. But yeah, it's been crazy, guys. And um, we just still got to be vigilant about our health. Um, people are still getting sick. And um, one of my friends texted me this morning. I missed it earlier this morning, but then I saw it later on that he had a cousin who died of COVID. You know, they said the death rate had slowed, but yeah. So y'all be careful still, still do the things necessary. Um, 
Uh, just because you're vaccinated don't mean that you are in the clear. Just know that it may give you a barrier of protection if you believe that, but it's not meaning that you're totally in the clear. So just be careful. But I am just um, taking some time today just to um, focus on me and uh, get a little sun. And I'm going to eat real good today. Um, have been eating real well. I haven't had much of an appetite. And um, so, you know, you guys know I fast, so it's not good for me not to have an appetite fasting. But uh, yeah, I haven't had much of an appetite, but I'm gonna make sure that I, I eat because I need to. But uh, yeah, I'm just sitting out here just, just enjoying the, the weather. And um, I wanted to get up. I took me a nice hot shower this morning and I had some coffee. I did a podcast this morning. So check that podcast out if you haven't but uh yeah i got up and wanted to put on me a sundress today i felt like today was a great day to wear a sundress because it is oh dropping my mask it is um 80 ish i'm not sure exactly the temperature but it is in the 80s and look at this beautiful skyline guys It is so gorgeous out here today. And uh, yeah. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Remember your health is important. Um, it may not just be your physical health, it could be your mental and emotional health. You know, things are stressing you out mentally on the job, or um, you know, family, life, friends, whatever it may be, finances, you gotta remember that. None of that is more important than your health. Even if you're struggling in those areas with things, if your health is gone, guys, it won't matter anyway. You know, I had a friend to tell me that, you know, about how I work, you know, and um, they say, you know, if something happened to you on that job and you passed away, they will send flowers to your family and by Monday morning, your job will be posted uh, for, you know, someone else they are looking for and that's so true so even though you know you hate to feel like you know your job don't really care but life will go on business will go on regardless whether you hear or not so you have to be the one who focus on your health uh, more so than worried about whether or not your company your boss co-workers care about you because you know they're not gonna care about you the way that you care about you so make sure that you guys are are doing what's necessary to, to preserve that. And um, even if it means taking a mental break, uh, sometimes you gotta do that. And, you know, I think I'm missing family a little bit. You know, it's been long, long haul for me seeing some of my children. I haven't seen my son now close to two years and he moved away, he moved to Kentucky. So he, you know, I haven't seen him in a while. And so I really miss seeing him. And my daughter that lives in DC and my granddaughter uh, I haven't seen them since 2019 when we took our trip to Pensacola. I have a, a vlog out there. I'm going to link it up here if y'all haven't seen it. Actually, it's like two or three vlogs, but I'm going to link one of them in the cards. Uh, we actually have a trip planned to go to Orlando, Florida on uh, May 20th, which I will vlog that. And you'll get a chance to see how much my granddaughter has grown since then. Because that was almost two years ago. She's eight now. She was like six then. So she's more mature. She like girly stuff now. And we're gonna have a lot of fun. She has, uh, she's into uh, YouTubing and uh, Insta uh, TikTok and all of that. She's kind of like a G mom. She likes to vlog and stuff. So we will have a lot of good, you know, fun vlogging on this trip. So I'll bring that to you guys for entertainment. Those who enjoy my vlogs, I did have a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a few people say they do enjoy vlog my vlog. So I will definitely be posting that. But I'm just so really excited to be able to see them because I've missed them and just being able to hug them and. You know it's just it's just been difficult and and living in this city alone sometimes I do get lonely I know I am very um, <laughs> encouraging at times and motivational but I do I'm human and I have my moments where I just need that reciprocated you know I need to feel that coming back from from my family and my friends and stuff and um, yeah so definitely you have to take a moment from time to time. But I'm gonna jump off real quick. I'm gonna sit out here, I bought me, um, I got this V8 Splash. This is a uh, tropical blend. 
and it's, any, it's good for antioxidants. Antioxidant C and B vitamins. I got me a bag of lace potato chips and I'm gonna sit here for probably about the next half an hour because I don't want to bake in the sun. I did try to put on a little bit of sunscreen but I don't want to get sunburned. I burn real easy. But I'm gonna sit out here for about the next half hour get a little bit of sun. And then I think I'm gonna go wash my car, you know, get some of the pollen off my car, drive it for the week. And I come back and I might make me some dinner or whatever. But this, y'all should be viewing this on Sunday. I'll probably have this pocket, this, I said podcast, this video up by Sunday. And the uh, giveaway is closed. So just wanted to say that uh, if anybody's still looking at it, it, it closed on uh, April the 30th. And I will go in and look to see who are my winners. So good luck to all of you that participated. I'm excited to be able to do this and just be able to share a little bit of my appreciation with all of you that follow me. And I've actually gained a few subscribers since my last video. It's like when I don't upload videos, I come back and I got, a, you know, a uh, hundred more subscribers. It's crazy to me how that happens, but... I don't know. Your videos and YouTube is just different now with analytics and how things go. I just don't get it. I really don't. But it's okay. Uh, I think what's most important to me is that I am able to spread my message of love, unity, encouragement, motivation, sisterhood, all of that, you know, with you all. So thank you all for subscribing. If you're new, I appreciate you for subscribing and coming through and watching today. And all the returning subscribers, I love you guys from my heart. You know, I appreciate you more than I can say. So you all have an amazing weekend, and I will see you guys later, all right? Take care.